Okay, starting off with uh, the uh, Lindbergh skulls. First thing I did was, let's see if we can get the contrast here. Took the skull and uh, I glued the teeth in already and then uh, started to do some work on it. Hollowed out the hole a whole lot bigger than, uh, than standard. The, um, the, the hole that uh, comes with is about the size of this. This one is the, uh, uh, the Bucky skull. And as you can see, that hole is probably about an inch across. This one, you can see the difference between the two. I took uh, one of the uh, uh, cutout bits, the, uh, the razor bits, the one that has the, uh, the flutes or the, uh, the blades all the way across it with the drill bit. Stuck it here into the uh, drill press and then, uh, with it just uh, ran it up and down the, uh, uh, the drill bit shaft to, uh, to hollow it out. Tried using a um, jigsaw, which I finally got, by the way, right here. Tried to use that to, to cut up and back down, but that didn't, uh, because of the, the upper part of the jaw wasn't letting me uh, cut it. So, use the uh, the drill bit there. Anyway, opened up the uh, the hole a whole lot bigger for uh, uh, for the shaft of my uh, my plate. See this is uh, what I use the uh, uh, rod end uh, used a piece of uh, uh, stamped steel from uh, from decking just for like a 2x4 um, uh, holder, a 2x4 hanger for uh, construction I picked up at uh, Home Depot and I think they were like 43 cents each. Drilled a couple holes as you can see for uh, uh, moving the shaft up or down there along with the uh, uh, to, to get it in line with the, the shaft of the servos and it looks like it came out pretty good you notice uh, I'm just using all thread instead of uh, a piece of machined uh, uh, steel or uh, aluminum used a couple nuts backed against each other at the top and the bottom and there are uh, quarter inch this is a quarter inch piece of all thread quarter inch uh, coarse nuts and you see the uh, the little uh, ferrules uh, ferrules there at the uh, the top and the bottom uh, of uh, the uh, swivel the uh, rod end there those are just the uh, compression nuts from the plumbing department and uh, a bag of those a bag of like eight of those was I think a dollar and a half so uh, put those all together I still have to cut the uh, the little arms to uh, to go to the servo here and uh, and then put the uh, the rod uh, back and forth uh, it goes between the the uh, little arm here and the uh, the arm here on this servo uh, this plate here is the one that I got from uh, uh, Jim Ghost and uh, uh, let's see where we go there uh, this is looking at the the top of it with one of the servos. Uh, this is probably going to be just uh, two axis for now. It'll, uh, it'll tilt forward and aft and it'll rotate. Rotates very easy. Uh, forward and aft is uh, pretty good and then uh, eventually I'll put the, uh, the third uh, servo on the side for, uh, for the head tilt but right now it's going to be just uh, two axis and uh, it uh, goes Inside, I'm going to pause this for a second.